the swift rhythm of a team racing together, working as a unit to soar over the water. Ah, oh, messed it up. Oh, now my feet. Paddling is harder than it looks. New paddlers are always encouraged to take lots of rests. Um, it is, it appears to be uh, an upper body sport, but in fact it's an all body sport. Summer is here in full force, and there are so many types of boats and paddling to try out at the Fairway Gorge Paddling Club. It's like being outside, you know, you get to be in the sun all the time and enjoy the nice weather. And being out in the water is fantastic, right? Like, you're just out there, the water's all around you. It's, it's great, it's great. What do I need to know before I get into one of these things? What kind of tips have you got for me? Um, well, we'll, we'll be starting in the Outrigger Canoe, and uh, all you need to know about that is, like, uh, I don't know, they're not, they're very, very stable. Like, we're not going to go in the water for those ones. Um, we're going to do some kayaking later, and uh, that's when you got to watch out, right? Like, that, there's always a chance to tip there. When you're holding your paddle, you want your bottom hand to be about one fist up from the blade. So about there, yeah, and then your top hand just goes on top of the T-grip. Paddling is about as unexclusive as you can get. Uh, it's a very informal, laid-back kind of culture that we have at the club. Um, it's all about uh, having fun on the water. All you do is watch the person two ahead of you, take 12 strokes aside, someone calls hut, and you take one more stroke, then switch. Sound easy? Oh, oh, he messed up! Patrick! Trying to follow Patrick. If you're like me, and you've never paddled before, don't worry, the club has you covered. All of our programs are coached, which means that anytime you see a dragon boat or outrigger out in the water, uh, we have professional coaches that are instructing all of our paddlers. Uh, we have, out of our thousand paddlers. Many of them are new, so we have new paddlers that are coming up every week onto our docks. I did a lot of pretending to stroke, actually. That's the best part about sitting in the back, is that no one can see if you're paddling. The Vic Vixens, which is a brand new dragon boat team that has agreed to let me on their boat, probably because they don't know that I can't paddle, but <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to be with you guys. What is your favorite part about being on this team? The camaraderie of the team and it's just uh, building that team spirit I, I, and I think that's what dragon boating is all about. The difference between dragon boats and outriggers is outriggers are designed to go to open water which means we go beyond the uh, outer harbour and dragon boats stay on inside water uh, which is along the gorge waterway. If you like working with a team maybe a dragon boat would be a good option for you or an outrigger canoe but now it's time for me to try going solo. You're supposed to let me win! You're supposed to let me win! At the end of the day, this club is clearly centered around community. So if you're thinking about paddling, my advice is to just do it. Try out the boats, lean on the coach's expert advice, and see what you like best. Because really, what do you have to lose? For people who live in Victoria, we live on an island surrounded by water. Most of Victorians never get the chance to experience that, uh, and we experience it seven days a week, 365 days a year, and we really want people to come out. We're Shaw TV in Victoria. I'm Meg Cuthbert. Goodbye, everyone.